This is the Edson Northfield Operations Site-Specific Orientation. Welcome to the Edson District Field Site-Specific Orientation. This orientation is to be completed prior to starting work on-site as it offers important information needed to plan and execute work safely. Getting started. In order to maintain a headcount in the event of an emergency, personnel on-site must be signed into the Office Guest Register or Office Sign-In Board while at the Hamlin Field Office. If going to a field site, then you must check in with operations prior to entering a Hamlin site. Personnel must check out with operations prior to leaving a site. During this site-specific orientation, please follow along with the checklist provided. Place a check mark next to each orientation topic as it comes up. Leave that checkbox blank if you do not understand something and review with a Canlon representative afterwards. The worker taking the orientation and the Canlon rep must sign off the bottom portion of the sheet. Photocopy the filled out orientation so that each party can retain a copy. This orientation is good for one year from completion. Safety tickets required to work outside of the office. A valid online orientation to be completed before coming to site. Create a profile with a valid email address and it takes about half an hour to complete. HOS Alive, Wemis, First Aid, TDG, and any other tickets applicable to the tasks that will be executed while on site, such as fall arrest, confined space ground disturbance, etc. We require photocopies or emailed scanned copies of these prior to work commencing. Site layout for the Hamlin Beehive. Main entrance, barrel dock, control room, condensate loading area and tank farm, flare stack, salt bath heaters, process building and towers, acid gas compressor building, solar compressor building, and generators. Alarms and beacons at the Hanlon Beehive facility. This site is equipped with three different types of alarms. The first is the evacuation alarm, which is a loud air horn that indicates that you are to proceed to the muster area immediately in a safe manner. Manual switches located throughout the facility can activate this alarm. Number 2. HUS and LEL sirens and beacons. They are activated by gas detectors or local hand switches. to the area where they are activated. Proceed to the control room for further direction, being sure to avoid traveling through areas with H2S or LEL alarms. Number 3. Process alarm for operations. Three tones from this alarm indicate a minor process condition or equipment status that may be disregarded by workers. More than three tones indicate a significant process condition. Workers are to report to the control room for further direction if you hear this.
Site layout for the Shaw Mountain Park Compressor Station. Main entrance or primary musters point. Barrel dock. Control room. Flare stack. Separator building. Compressor building. Inlet and sales area. And flare knockout building. Alarms and beacons for the Shaw Mountain Park Compressor Site. This site is equipped with two different types of alarms. The first is the evacuation alarm, which is a loud air horn and indicates that you are to proceed to the muster area immediately in a safe manner. The second alarm is a process alarm and is a single tone to indicate process conditions to operations. This signal may be disregarded by workers on site. Alarms and beacons at other field sites. Prior to entering sites or buildings, watch for abnormal conditions such as gas leaks. Flashing red beacons indicate H2S, LEL, or fire detection on all Canlet field sites. Immediately leave the area and contact operations prior to site re-entry if this is observed. Muster points at field sites. The main entrance of a site is usually the primary muster point for emergencies at that location. This may change if the wind direction moves potential releases towards that area. This is all to be discussed during the permitting process with operations. Permit to work. Permits are used in this area to guide work taking place. They contain vital information about the hazards and controls associated with the actual job to take place and act as a communication tool to all those involved in the task. Permits are to be obtained from operations prior to starting work. Arrange ahead of time with the operations on where to meet for a permit. All hazards applicable to a job must be identified and controlled appropriately. Operations and the Performing Authority will sign the authorization section when controls are in place. Upon obtaining a permit, a hazard assessment must be performed and documented and signed off by the work party and operator. This information is to be discussed with workers during a toolbox tailgate safety meeting. Hazard reporting. If unexpected hazards or unsafe acts are discovered during work, it is important that they be properly reported to Canlan representatives immediately. This may require that the permit to work be updated with operations. A green card can be filled out to detail the issue at hand and any actions that have been taken or need to be taken to resolve the issue. Incident reporting. Incidents that have or have come close to causing a loss must be reported to operations immediately so as to prevent further harm. This includes injuries, asset damage, near misses, process safety issues, spills, regulatory issues, these events are to be recorded on an incident report form. Information is required so that we can properly investigate what happened and determine how to prevent in the future. First Aid All Canlan employees at this site have first aid training and may be able to assist you in the event of becoming injured. Immediately let operations know if you have been injured, even if it seems minor at the time. Various sites are equipped with first aid supplies, which are located at the entrance of the Hamlin Plant First Aid Room, Hamlin D High Control Room, at the 2 of 28 Shaw Mountain Park Control Room, and in all operator trucks if needed. An EED is located at the Hamlin Plant Office and at the Hamlin D High. ETV and Advanced First Aid. Between Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., workers that have advanced first aid training are typically available for assistance. Operations will contact these workers if needed. An ETV or emergency transport vehicle is kept at the office on the east side of the building and may be used by Canlan staff to transport individuals to medical care if needed. The ETV can, contains a variety of first aid supplies. The STARS Air Ambulance site number for this plant is 700. Emergency Response Emergency contact provisions will be planned on all permits. This may include calling an operator on cell phone or radio, calling Edson Gas Control at 780-794-8501 during normal business hours, 
dialing 911 to activate emergency medical services in the area or calling the Canlan 24 hour emergency line at 1 866 409 2744. Closest medical facility. The Edson Hospital is about a 50 minute drive from the Hammond Rob gas plant through Highway 47. The Hinton Hospital is about a one hour drive from the Hammond gas plant through West Fraser's gravel logging road. The following is the minimum PPE required on Canlan sites. Fire target coveralls, steel toe boots, hard hat, safety glasses with side coverage, gloves, forehead monitor, and hearing protection when required. Wemis safety data sheets. Canlan uses a web-based safety data sheet binder access with the information shown on the screen. Operations can access these SDS for you, or you can follow the instructions which are posted on the work areas to gain access yourself. Environmental and Chemical Hazard Awareness Many hazardous substances are used or produced in the Edson operating area, including natural gas, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, benzene, methanol and corrosion inhibitors, produce water, sulfur, naturally occurring radioactive materials, acids, and caustics. It is important that these hazards are controlled during the permitting process. Environmental protection. It is unacceptable to allow hazardous substances to contaminate the environment. Steps must be taken to prevent contaminant releases. Trip tracing containments are located throughout Canlan's facilities and must be used when there is a potential for a spill to occur. At Callan, we operate with the philosophy of nothing hits the ground. If a spill occurs, contain the source if safe to do so and immediately inform operations. Spill kits are available at the Hamlin plant, Hamlin D High, 14 and 3 compressor station. Driving and vehicle rules. The speed limit within field sites is 10 km per hour. Vehicles are to be backed in while on site. Driving vehicles within 5 meters of gas process requires a hot work permit and may only be done if there are no reasonable alternatives to bringing the vehicle in. Diesel engines must have positive air shutoff to go into these areas. Canlan Roads The speed limit on main roads, non-west Fraser, is 80 km per hour unless otherwise posted. Roads going into leases are usually 60 km per hour. Please obey all traffic rules and drive to the conditions. Keep in mind that driving is one of the most hazardous things we do in our industry. West Fraser Roads You must strictly follow West Fraser's rules of the road while on their roads within the Callan operating area. Speed limit on their roads is 80 km per hour unless otherwise posted. Slow down to 50 km an hour when meeting oncoming traffic. Headlights must be used at all times. Vehicles over 11,794 kilograms require a VHF radio with appropriate West Fraser channels. The full list of rules is provided within the orientation package provided. General Safety Resources Fire extinguishers are usually located at field sites within buildings or in ops workers' trucks. Eyewash bottles are located throughout the field within buildings. Safety showers are located at the Hanlon office, Hanlon D High, or at the Shaw Mountain Park site. Wind socks are located at each field location. The orientation pamphlet provided contains a map which shows where these specific safety resources are located at the Hanlon D High. Ensure you become familiar with where safety resources are located prior to work beginning. General safety precautions. Never override or disable safety critical equipment without authorization. Hazardous energy sources must always be properly isolated. Work with Canlan operations to ensure hazardous energy sources are identified, isolated, and locked out following Canlan's procedures. No non-CSA certified, non-intrinsically safe electronic devices, including cell phones or cameras, are allowed within operating areas unless controlled under a hot work permit. 
working alone. Canlan has a working alone policy which will assist in tracking its own employees. Contractors are expected to follow their own working alone policy and will need to work with operations to discuss how this will be managed. Washroom locations. Washrooms are located at the Hanlon office, Shaw Mountain Park Compressor Station, and Hanlon D High. Smoking locations. Smoking is permitted only in designated areas where specifically marked. Smokers must go off lease when there are no designated areas marked. Camlin Life Saving Rules Review 1. Do a risk assessment. 2. Follow the permit to work system. 3. Isolate energy sources. 4. Conduct safe lifting operations. 5. Safely enter confined spaces. 6. Work safely at height. 7. Operate vehicles safely. And 8. Conduct safe ground disturbance. Congratulations, you have now completed the orientation. Please ask a Canlan rep if you did not understand any of the topics talked about today. Check off all valid safety tickets that you are bringing and provide a copy to operations to scan. Fill at the bottom of the sheet and sign off and you are now complete. Thank you.